Greetings teammates, welcome to the LDHR Toolman, a new short video series to introduce you to some good LDHR tools and resources that will assist you in your role. You know, this is a great time to be serving in LDHR, and if you're new to the role, I welcome you. I remember my first few years in the area LDHR role. I was actually pretty clueless about what LDHR was all about and how to do the job. It was quite a struggle. But you know, times have changed. LDHR now has good tracks to run on and clear direction. We also have a growing collection of good tools and resources you can use to help you be successful. So in this first episode of the LDHR Toolman, I'm going to start things off by giving you a brief overview of three toolkits we've developed to help you in your role. The first is the Staff Development Cycle Toolkit which ensures that all team leaders have at least three focused conversations with their team members every year to help transform team effectiveness and engagement in the mission. You know, one of our LDHR priorities is the implementation of the staff development cycle at every level of the organization. So if you or those you work with need a clearer understanding of the staff development cycle, or if you need help implementing it, this toolkit is for you. You can find it at staffdevelopmentcycle.org. The second toolkit is the Leader Transitions Toolkit. Leaders around the world have been crying out for an effective standard process to help ensure that we can select the right people for needed leadership roles. The Leader Transitions Toolkit combines the leadership selection process with the leader transition process to help us select the right leaders for the mission and ensure that they can transition well. You can locate this toolkit at leadertransitions.org. The final toolkit we'll introduce is our newest one. It's the People Pathways Toolkit, which seeks to match the career path of the individual with the leadership needs of the organization. It consists of two pathways. The Career Pathway assists an individual in charting their career path within the organization, and the Leadership Pathway seeks to ensure a continual flow of leaders to meet the leadership needs of the organization. You'll find it at people-pathways.org. Well, that's the overview. In future episodes, we'll be looking at specific applications and implementation of the toolkits. In the meantime, I encourage you to explore the toolkits, begin using the tools, and introduce them to others. You know, we're in the process of refining and improving the toolkits. So if you have any input or suggestions or questions, please contact me at dennis.metcalf at eacc.com. Well, that's all for now. Until next time, this is the LDHR Toolman. Over and out.